YouTube page from Obi Okechuku Christopher. It says that I am healed of severe headache right now. I've been having this troubling headache for some time. It's been causing me trouble, but right now the headache is completely gone. Also from YouTube, Pere Thompson says that God has healed me from strange cough. Oh, they are still coming and coming and coming more and more. But right now, we want to take live testimonies now from the location here where we are now as we bring you more testimonies from online shortly. Amen. Amen. The Lord is working wonders. We listen to our sister here, then we return online quickly. Tell us the, your name and what the Lord has done for you. People of God, praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Esther Emmanuel. I want to appreciate God for what he has done for me this evening. As I came here, I came here with a sharp pain on my leg, on my right leg. But as Papa was ministering, he prayed, the pain now disappeared immediately. I cannot feel anything again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody, praise the Lord. The pain is gone and has gone forever in Jesus' name. Very shortly, we're going back online. You join to celebrate. we have a great testimony from the United States of America. We go to USA live. live. My name is Oniola Nwadu. Last year, I was diagnosed of predica, massive uh, predica effusion, which means there are a lot of fluid in my heart. I did some surgery, and after the surgery, uh, histology, then I did another surgery, and a mass was removed from my chest. And it went for tests, and it came out that I have primary carcinoma, which is a form of cancer. After the first chemo, which was a little bit terrible. I, I collapsed. I spent about a week in the hospital. Then after that week, I joined Global Crusade. That was in September. I joined them online. Usually in the evening, I participate in their prayer. And one particular day, that particular day, believing in God, I feel some sensation. But I, then I believe that I've been healed. I strongly believe that I've been healed. This year, January, I did another test. To the glory of God, that there's no form of what, no form of cancer in my chest, because actually it has spread from my chest, to my heart, to my lung, and everything was cleared. And this is a miracle. There's no, there's no other word to, to describe it. It's a miracle, and it's a miracle that needs to be shared, and needs to be, so that everyone should know that word, that what God cannot do, does not exist. Yes, I need to thank God for the life of Pastor Kumuyi for giving us this opportunity of joining online. Online miracle, online service is, a, is an avenue for people like us that are maybe in-house, incapacitated to participate in the glory and the wonderful work of God. Thank you and I give glory and return honor and adoration to the Almighty God, to my Christ, my Savior and my personal Savior. The testimony 
United States of America. The one you just listened to came from um, Nigeria here in Oyo State. From the United States of America, Sister Labake Howard from Houston, Texas, USA, um, testified of healing from cancer. And uh, we'll bring you that testimony later. We now go back to the social media where we have Adeoye from Quara State. He wrote, God has been faithful with me. He said, I've been battling with issue of blood, blood pressure for years now, which has made me take medications just to suppress it for the most. But after the global crusade in Bayelsa State, after the final amen, the Lord touched me. Days after, I checked up and found out that my blood pressure returned to normal. To the glory of God, I went to do the official test and found out that God had healed me perfectly. Glory to the name of the Lord. We now return to the state overseer in the anchor location. the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. And we're having Jesus' power for extraordinary breakthrough. This is the first day the Lord has much more in store in this celebration. Tomorrow in the morning, remember, we have the minister's conference. That is for all workers. All workers are expected to be there. And all ministers of the gospel in various churches, leaders of various churches, and then, as well as all businessmen and professionals. You are all expected, and we're starting by 7 in the morning. Be there, be there earlier, from at about uh, 6.30, quarter to 7, be there to start to pray. And then it's going to be a very powerful spiritual injection to everyone. After that, you go to your office, you see miracles, you see wonders. And then you come back in the evening, and uh, another dose again. Great wonders, great miracle. We will all celebrate together in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 As we are rounding up now, we are, are going to continue in the mood of celebration, even as we get prepared for tomorrow, for early morning dose, as well as for the crusade in the evening. The Lord has prepared a servant. Great, great miracles will be wrought in the life of everyone. In a wonderful way, you will testify. I say you will testify. Amen. Be prepared. And tell others also, tell others to join us to be part of this wonderful, wonderful celebration. Celebration of victory, celebration of salvation, of healing and deliverance. Every one of us will receive more and more blessings in Jesus' name. Let's rise up and worship the Lord together. Give God the glory, give God the praise for what he has done for us tonight, for the salvation of souls, of people, thousands all over the globe that have given their lives to Christ online, in the various locations. The Lord has touched many, and many have been saved. Let's give God the glory, let's give God the praise. And for all the people that have been healed, for all the people that have been liberated, set free. For all the breakthrough the Lord has given us through the mighty power, the extraordinary breakthrough that we have all received through the demonstration of the power of God. Let's give God the glory, give God the praise. Magnify the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray for the program tomorrow, the ministers and uh, Almost the workers and the businessmen and professionals uh, uh, conference in the morning, as well as the crusade in the evening. 
Let's pray the Lord will visit us, not only tomorrow, all through to the end of the program, miracle. It will be getting higher and greater and bigger, and everybody will be touched. Everyone will be touched. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. Say, Lord, prepare me, prepare all your servants, and prepare all the invitees, and all who will be joining physically, all who will be joining online, prepare everyone to receive the word of God. God has prepared his servant. The word is already going forth like we had tonight. We'll go forth again tomorrow. Let's pray. 